the new grinder from DeLonghi. It's being a, it will be coming out in September, and it retails for $1.99. It's really um, espresso and drip grinder. And it's really, really amazing. It has a lot of great features. So the first feature is this container is for grinding coffee for drip coffee. So if you're gonna make a drip coffee maker, or if you have a drip coffee maker, you just put the container underneath here. And on the side here, there's a dial. And on the top here, you'll see the number changing. So this tells you how many cups you're going to use. So if I wanna brew eight cups of coffee, I would just go to the number eight, and it has a pre-programmed set amount of coffee it will grind for your eight cups of coffee. So you don't have to worry about what, how much you need for how many cups of coffee, it does the work for you. Also have the choice of if you like it stronger or not as strong. So you can choose light, normal, or strength, strong flavor. And then you just hit grind, and it'll grind the coffee for you. If you can see here, it's a little bit difficult to see, but we have starting at one, that's espresso, goes all the way to drip coffee, and then finally a French press. So that's changing the grind setting. So if I'm going to do a drip coffee, I would just push it to the center, and maybe I'll start on an, an eight or nine for my drip coffee maker. And I can go coarser, or I can go finer. You can see here, this is sort of the difference. So this is very fine coffee for espresso, and then this is gonna be the coarsest grind for more of a French press. So it has that really big variation so that you can use it for espresso and for drip coffee. So if you're not going to make a drip coffee and you wanna make an espresso, you would remove this container and add in the porta filter holder. So this is a really great feature, allowing for this to be used for both espresso and drip coffee. So now all I do is place the porta filter in here and it holds the porta filter for me and will grind directly into the porta filter basket. So same thing, I can choose if I want light, strong, or normal, and I just hit the grinder and it'll start grinding. So I had that on drip, so that's gonna be a little too coarse for espresso, so I'll just push it back to espresso. You can see the, the coarseness of it, it's really nice, to, um, but that's really for drip coffee. So I'm gonna dump that out and I'll show you the espresso. If I put it back in and hit grind again. Then we have a finer espresso grind and I can make espresso with that. I'll just push it around, give it a tamp, some light pressure. And then I just insert that into the port filter, or into the espresso machine. I can get it from that angle. So the espresso machine wasn't on, so I just turned it on, but it takes a very short amount of time to heat up. As soon as it stops splashing, that means it's heated up, and I can begin the brewing process. And then down here, you'll see the espresso start to come out. The foam on top is the crema, which is created from the pressure of an espresso machine. There you have that nice espresso with the crema on top. And then using the steam, the, the frothing machine, the, the steam wand over here, I can froth my milk to make a latte, cappuccino, whatever sort of textured milk that you'd like. Using the steam wand, so this is a Penarello. This creates foam, so it, it circulates the milk inside here, and it creates a really rich foam for like a cappuccino texture. I'm gonna take it off to show you how to do latte art. This, this smaller tip will allow for a lighter foam texture, like a latte. So, I'm just going to Place the milk, the steam one into the milk, turn it on, and that hissing sound is the addition of air, and you can see the bubbles starting to form. So that, those bubbles and that hissing noise is creating the foamy texture of the milk. So I want the bubbles to go away, so I'm staying really close to the top so that they sink. We want it to milk kind of like a blender, like a whirlpool and a blender, so it's mixing all the milk and the foam together. That's going to give us that really rich textured milk. And then when the pitcher feels hot to the touch, I'm going to turn it off. And you can see that really creamy texture. I like to make the milk look like half and half or melted ice cream. That's the texture I'm going for for a latte. All right, and then when I do my latte art, what I'm going to do is make the foam float on top. So. 
start the pouring process and sink the milk in the beginning. And then I come down and I just paint the foam on top and make a little tulip. Really pretty. Thank you. And it tastes just as good. <laughs> yeah.